I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a video on solution chemistry. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I am the creator of the Orgo Man books, as well as the author of the Dad Destroyer book. What I'd like to do is go over a question with you involving molarity. Molarity is a way we can express concentration of a solution. Now remember, the molarity of something is the moles of the solute divided by the liters of the solution. Come around and I'll show you two sure bet DAT type of questions. What we have is concentrated nitric acid is 70% nitric acid by mass. And the density is 1.42 grams per centimeters cubed. One, I want to find the oxidation number of the nitrogen. And then B, find the molarity of the solution. To find the oxidation number, we want to make sure that all these numbers, all these numbers balance out to be zero. We know hydrogen is plus one, oxygen is minus two, and there's three of them, so that gives me a minus six. A plus one and a minus six is a minus five, so to balance it out to zero, we get nitrogen is plus five. Part B. This is a little more challenging because we want to get it in moles per liter. I'm gonna first write down 70% as 70 grams of nitric acid in 100 grams of solution. Now, remember, this is grams and this is grams. We need molarity in moles per liter. I'm gonna take the density and I'm gonna say that 1.42 grams of the solution per cubic centimeter is the density. That crosses out grams of solution. A thousand centimeters cubed is in a liter. And notice centimeters cubes cancel out. And then finally, a mole of nitric acid weighs 63 grams, and that would cross out the grams. And you're left with moles per liter. The DAT will have numbers that are much nicer than this. But all I do is multiply this out and divide it, and we get 15.8 molar. We have a similar question in the Death Destroyer book that I want you to have a look at and where the numbers are very, very nice and easy to work with like you'll see on the deck. All right, I hope this helps and gives you a good idea of how to go about a more challenging question on molarity. Okay, good day to you.